Well, Monday means it's time to meet an adoptable pet. Kayla Sharametta from the Oakville Milton Humane Society joins us with Sasha. Oh, Sasha's beautiful. She really is. <laughs> and she looks like She's she knows she is. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Um, right now, I am convincing her to stay near my lap uh, with treats. <laughs> She's a big girl. She is. She could do to lose a few pounds. Today, we're not worrying about calories. When you go on TV, calories don't No, count. no, no, no. And, and the camera no. does <laughs> add about 10 pounds, so. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's Sasha's story? So Sasha was actually surrendered to us. Um, no fault of her own. Unfortunately, uh, her previous home wasn't able to care for her anymore. So she's about eight years old. She's a really sweet cat. She loves people and attention. The second she greets you and meets you, she's rubbing her face in your hands, desperate for pets. Um, and food's a great way to convince her to love you as well. Right. And, and you know what? We should do a, a thank you to the people who surrendered her because that's a very tough thing to have to do. But it's the it right really thing, right? is. Exactly. A lot of times it's the right call for the, the animal. And if they're not able to care for them anymore, they're, they're not able to care for them. And someone um, else out there could give Sasha a great home. And so they did the right thing to contact us and surrender her, even though it's a really hard decision to make. Okay, so that means Sasha knows her name, or as, as much as cats do, right? So there's no changing of the name. How, how is she with other animals? Um, so she hasn't really had a lot of experience with other animals. She's seen them here at the shelter a few times. Um, she does actually know her name. It will come when called, especially when there's treats involved. Um, she's visited with a cat in her past home, and she wasn't overly impressed. But we think with a slow introduction, a proper introduction, she could be okay. Right, and that proper introduction is if somebody adopts a new cat or a kitten or whatever, you keep them in a room kind of to themselves exactly. for a little while and, and let the other animals just kind of smell them through the, through the door. Exactly. Yeah. So she needs to have a separate area, a separate space that is just hers in the beginning and that she can adjust into the space on her own before introducing to the cat. And we can do things like scent swapping, doing treats around the door to create some positive associations, and that will allow them to feel more confident and comfortable. There's also pheromone therapies that you can use that are little plugins uh, that help them feel more confident in the home when introducing to a new animal. Right. And how old is Sasha again? She's eight years old. And oh, she's in good okay. Health. So that's the, that's like mid age for cats, right? So she's got plenty yes. of plenty of love left in her. Exactly, it is. Technically, we do start to consider them seniors at eight years old, um, and that's not because they're at um, their end of their lifespan or anything like that. But that's when we start to look for um, doing senior blood work, checking how their kidneys are, are working, their um, their glucose levels, their thyroid, as those are kind of the big things that happens to cats as they get older, okay. and we can find early signs of those. At okay, a young age. so if you're interested in Sasha, Kayla, <laughs> thank you for introducing us. She's at the yeah. Oakville Milton Humane Society.